outside or whatever? It's perfect. Okay. Dude, okay, what just happened? It was amazing. We just had an encounter at the front door. I felt like we were going to come in contact with some people outside of um, the Christian bookstore, and we began to preach the gospel to these two young kids. Well, Todd preaches the gospel to them. Then I start feeling like uh, kind of tingling on my knee shin area, and the Lord tells me that um, that one of them has a problem in their knee shin area that get, it, it gets numb, uh, probably from uh, an accident. And anyway, the boy said it was in a, in a car accident, and it gets numb, causes some pain. Uh, then I saw a quick vision of us uh, praying for his leg to grow out. So I knew one of his legs was shorter, so we sit him up at the bench. Uh, you'll see in the video, his right. leg grows out. This is going to be amazing. Keep your eye right in between on the heels, right? Yeah. All right. So we're just going to pray, and you're going to see his right leg come out. It, is, it isn't magic, just God loves to heal people. And you're going to get your leg healed at the same time, okay? Yeah. So, yeah, Jesus. So we just it's coming out God. right now. <laughs> we just command right leg. See it growing? Yeah, you come out right now in Jesus' name. It's growing. You see that, yeah, dude? <laughs> His friend, dude, is tripping out. His friend's like, um, you got something for him? You got something for him? Okay. Um, his friend starts pr tripping out. Are you serious? You're doing better. You're yes, not messing with me. I do. Yeah. You just saw no. his leg grow out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Just, I'm like, God is so real. So, anyway, he just loves you guys. And have you guys ever made a personal commitment to him? Like, you, I feel you have, you have too, like when you were like 13 or 12, but youth camp, 13, you did at a youth camp. I'm so sad, I said, you gave your life to the Lord when you were like 12, 13 at a youth camp. And he goes, I was 13 when I gave my life to the Lord at the youth camp. And I just said that God's calling you home, man. Like you've seen it in and out of just trying to make a decision what you want to do. And he's like, I was like, what do you think? He's like, he's like, I think we need to start going back to church. Have you ever seen anything like this before? What do you think about it? Like, what's your thoughts and stuff? I was like, this can't be happening. I thought my friend Ryan was messing with me. Yeah. You thought he was lying? Yeah, I thought he was messing with me. Yeah, you saw the difference in the legs and stuff? I gotta, gotta start going to church, man. Like, seriously. I was like, damn. Yeah, <laughs> what about stuff. you, man? Same. Like, are you guys ready to just give your life, surrender your life back to the Lord? They're like, yes. So, right outside of the Christian bookstore, man, they regave their life to the Lord. We asked for the Holy Spirit to come. It's just awesome, man. This is the gospel in action. It just makes you realize he's more real, right? Because he's invisible, but now this is like proof. You're like, he's not just in the clouds. He's like right here, right now, living in us. So. We believe that they're going to change the world with Jesus. Just like God got us, he got these kids now.